Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Trope Cast. Hope you enjoyed the last two episodes, and now we're going to go and have a look at the Not Allowed to Grow Up trope. And I'm going to use one example from each of these categories here. So start with anime and manga. And let us go with Pokemon. Ash and Pikachu seem to have fallen foul of this a lot to the point of being the page image of this Ash has been declared as still being 10 years old at the start of Be- Best Wishes Black and White, season 14 outside Japan. This was said in the original Japanese as well. Pokemon Volcanion and the Mechanical Marble also confirmed he's still 10. Former storyboard artist Masamitsu Hidaka explicitly said in this interview that Ash and his friends remain their respective ages for as long as the show is on, however many years that may be. To make things more confusing, Ash in the dub only noted that the one year anniversary of him and Pikachu meeting he noted that and even more confusing in the both the English and Japanese versions where Ash's voice has deepened in a a lot in the later seasons. It has happened in many other versions as well, which cast kids to play Ash's role back in 1998-1999. But said kids have since aged but remain doing his voice. Okay. So there's your example from anime and manga. Next is Asian animation. Kind of the same thing. Happy Heroes takes place on a planet where ridiculously human robots capable of aging are very easy to come across. Among them the main team of heroes, the Supermen. There are also plenty of human aliens, such as the Superman's non-biological father, Dr. H. The show has been on the air for almost a decade, and none of the main or major characters, mechanical or organic, have displayed any signs of aging. Comic book. In Ultimate Spider-Man, Peter has been roughly 15 or 16 since the beginning. In 2000, Brian Michael Bendis even invoked this trope. The Simpsons have kept their ages for more than a decade. We can do that too. He plans to have 100 issues equal one year, and if Spider-Man lives that long, he will eventually be old enough to drink. Of course, it became academic when, and there's a blank there, so yeah. I want to give one example from each category, as I said at the start of the episode. So we're now going to move on to comic strips. This trope is especially common in the newspaper comic strips Peanuts and the Family Circus are the most 
egregious offenders, but the effect can become even more jarring in instances such as Sally Fall, where events continually occur that become part of the character's canon history and define what it is and is not possible, what is and is not possible for the continuing present. And yet the time needed for these events to have transpired has no impact on young Hillary's age. Quite the contrary, sometimes she even seems to be growing younger. Aging backwards. No, oh, we'll get to that later. <laughs> okay. But until then, BAM works. Because everyone is caught in a time loop, no one ages in the infinite loops. Loopers, however, do consider themselves to age from when they first awaken, so this is played with. Okay, animated film. In The Land Before Time, it's pretty clear that over the course of the 14 movies and the one season TV series, that make up the franchise. Several years pass in universe, yet none of the young dinosaurs ever seem to get any older or grow any bigger. Okay, in literature next, the Hardy Boys. As one of the most prominent examples in literature, the 60 plus years of at least five book series and 248 volumes. The amateur sleuths Joe and Frank started as at, at 15 and 16 years old when first introduced in the 1920s and stayed there until the books were overhauled in the 1960s. The brothers have been allowed to become 17 and 18 years old respectively and have stayed at those ages ever since with the occasional grade school foray that de-aged the brothers into third graders, assuming that both Joe and Frank were born on the same birthday, that would be about 1.47 days per mystery. They must be the most obsessed detectives in existence. Okay. So we're now going to move on to live action TV. Emmanuel Lewis, the star of Webster, was 12 when he started playing the title role and 17 when the show ended. His character aged only three years during the show's six year run, from five to eight, so from age five to eight. Okay. In music,
Hmm. You know what? I think we'll just skip that one. We're going to radio. Connie Candle in Adventures in Odyssey was an example for many years. She first appeared as a 16 year old and stayed that way for so long that several of the kid characters surpassed her age. This was later retconned, so that she just ages very slowly. Connie is now in college, has been engaged, and runs a wedding business called Dreams by Constance. So she is allowed to age after all. That's an aversion to the trope, by the way. Theatre. Used very often in Annie, where the shuffling of orphans was usually done to, um, due to the onset of puberty. Though some younger girls would move up to older girl roles. Thus, literally hundreds of girls played roles in the musical, though its original Broadway run had four national tours. The documentary Life After Tomorrow interviews quite a few of the women who appeared in the original run, many of whom cited their last show was the worst day of their lives. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Video games. Dragon Guard is here. A six-year-old boy who made a pact with a golem creature. The price for the pact was being unable to grow up. In Dragon Guard 2, he is now 24 years old but still looks like a little boy. Okay. Web animation. Well, there's only one very big example here. One of the Angry Angry Kid shorts from Armen Animation's Boyhood double subverts this trope. The setup is that Angry Kid is supposedly photographed has supposedly photographed himself every day for 10 years and a rapid series of Polaroid show that he has remained unchanged despite the changing everyday lyrics in the background in the middle of it he remarks while strumming a ukulele I don't look any different do I? it seems to hang a lampshade on the fact that the series itself vanished for 10 years then and then reappeared with an identical character despite a significant change in animation techniques but then the photos continue and Angry Kid gradually starts growing facial hair it may take a second or two to notice that it's actually drawn on his face in pen in the end we return to the ukulele shot where the kid now sports a full handlebar moustache and he argues with an unseen spectator that no, it is not scribbled on, it totally is. Webcomics In On Reality the author had originally planned for the characters to realistically age but that was eventually dropped in favour of keeping the pace and tone of the comic consistent. And Western animation. Of course, now. In Adventure Time, zigzagged by Finn, at first he aged in real time from 12 to 14. The staff apparently realised the show would last quite a while so he spends the bulk of the series eight years at 15. Once became clear the show was ending, once it became clear, Finn was mentioned to be 16 in the second half. 
in the second to last season and turned 17 in one of the last few episodes. Inverted with Jake's kids who, due to their magical hybrid genetics, age into adulthood over the course of a few weeks, freeing him up to be Finn's roommate again. Um, so you can leave Arthur out of that because they are now fourth graders. Anyway, I think. We've looked at enough of this trope. So, I'll announce the next category to be the one under the A's. We'll go with always a child to the parents. Next time. Until then, bye bye now.